Hey Oak Creek fans, Donald's going to show us some other turkey calls, so check out this video. Okay guys, um, after doing our show with Jim and um, everything the other day, the, uh, we had a lot of questions about different calls, so we kind of didn't go into it as much as we, as we should have, I guess. But, um, so we thought we'd come back and try to answer a few questions. And, um, but I uh, had the question of how do you purr with a mouth call? Um, there's a lot of guys in the calling contest and stuff that they use their lips. I use my uvula, 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 whatever it is. My little dingy thingy hanging in the back of my, my neck. So I know everybody knows what that is. But um, it, it's tough because that seems like that's, I know my boys and everybody that asks me, that seems like that's, be, that's a lot of times the hardest thing. I don't know how to tell you how to do that other than it's like gargling. It's, and then you've got to get that pressure right. But you can use it as an aggravated purr and you can use it as a... Um, you know, just a, a purr and cluck, or cluck, but um, I don't know how, it's real simple. <laughs> I don't know, it's just lots of practice. Guys, these mouth calls, I mean, I used to take a five hour trip back and forth to Dallas, Texas every weekend at doing calling contests. I would call for five, six, seven, eight hours going into it. So it's, it's a lot, you know, there's a lot of practice and, and it's real easy after that. So, but, um, to, cluck, to purr on a mouth call, using your uvula, this, it's real simple, just blowing real easy. And I just try to imagine what, I've heard the hens coming through the woods, what they're doing. They're gathering each other. They're letting them know that, hey, I'm right here. I'm right here. Everything's cool. Everything's good. Really no stress. Everybody keep eating. And that's all that is. It's just letting them know. And a gobbler likes to hear that. He like, he'll come on in to you, maybe scratch your little leaves. I always, when I sit down, I pull a bunch of leaves in behind me. If a turkey's gobbling out here, I pull a bunch of leaves in. And I'll scratch around while I'm purring, you know. Scratch, scratch, scratch. <laughs> Now, whenever you get an aggravated, they're fighting. They're um, fighting for dominance. A lot of times you'll hear jakes and gobblers doing this. It's the same deal. It's just you're blowing a little bit harder. So, I don't know how to tell you how to do that. Um, it's just practice. Uh, I, wish I wish I had a good answer for you there. The other thing is we didn't go over is the lost call. Uh, they were asking how to do a lost call. Me, what I've seen hens coming through the woods, and I base everything I can use out in the woods off of what I've seen coming into the woods. So, you're, um, you know, that hen's lost. I try to put myself in that situation every time I do a yelp or a purr or a cluck or a kiki key key run as being another lost. I try to be a turkey. I try to think of what that turkey's thinking whenever it's out in the woods, and that's why I try to put that emotion into my call. But a lost call is a lot of calling. I mean, they every time I've seen a hen come through the woods, I mean, they call and they call loud and they call long, and it's really um, they're they're desperate. So I'm desperate. Hey, where are you? Where are you? I need I need some somebody to be around. I want to find out where you are. You're desperate and that's what I try to do so can't believe I can't get a turkey to gobble at me so I must not be a very good caller um I think that was about all the questions I had on the different types of calls and stuff like that uh, it's just practice you know don't go out and grab a, a call and expect to 
to be able to do this. This is this is years and years of practice. Everybody, you know, they work at it. They get you a, a simple call, practice, practice, and then start buying different calls and finding a tone that you like. I've got a raspy. This is a, um, and I'll get I'll get the guys to show you the package on it. But it's an Ozark Ridge call. So like I said, you guys that are local, um, you know, it, it you can buy them at L and L Country Store. It's um, Everybody puts this call in its mouth. It's gonna sound like a different turkey. It all depends on your voice, your the roof of your mouth, how you push that air through. So you've got to find the call that works best for you. Jim had different calls; those work best for him. I can't make them sound worth a flip, and vice versa. So um, try and experiment. You know, back whenever I was in calling contests, I got all these by the by the dozens for free they're expensive now i mean they used to be a dollar or so piece, you know, a piece and now they're six dollars a piece so um but they do seem to last a little bit longer than the ones we made in our basement and stuff like that though so hope that answers your questions we will see you next time hey everybody if you're having trouble watching our videos on youtube you can always go to our website and watch them there um also if you'd like to watch some videos from on the ranch right up here if you'd like to watch some of our favorite videos, check these out right over here. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, click this button right down here.